Hi everybody, my name's Antoinette and welcome to Board Game Inquisition, where we are fans of board games both new and old. Today we're going to be unboxing Heroes Welcome, Merchants of Dragon Reach from Pencil First Games. And it comes from designer Marc Leblanc um, and Eduardo Baroff. And I very much appreciate the fact that on the front of the box here, it tells you who the artists are. Um, and also um, the people are involved in the text or the writing, which I think is a really nice addition. So this game is about making money off of dungeoneers or dungeon heroes or monsters. Um, and as you can see from the cover, it looks like a really kind of fun and light-hearted game, right? Um, it's quite a thick box. So we'll have a look at the back because I always love looking at the back, but look at the side. It's already bursting at the seams. It must have something I need to pop out. And as it says, it's for two to five players. Um, games that go to five players are bonuses. You can see it there. Um, it's 90 minutes long, okay? And that's a lot longer than I expected from um, this kind of theme or cover. And it's for ages 14 plus. So the back of the box tells us a little bit um, about the game itself. And it's got a nice picture of the game board. And um, this box feels really, really nice, by the way. It's quite waxy here. <laughs> Um, but I think that just means it's going to be durable and, and vaguely waterproof. And this looks um, really bright and happy. Like, what an exciting adventure. Okay, so let's have a look inside and see what we get. Oh, look, the other side is just as pretty. I like when they do that with, with games. All right, here it goes. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, so the first thing we're getting to is obviously the rule book. And already I like it. It's got content page. Look, list everything that you need to do. So there's game setup, setup, town phase, different types of merchants. This is already very, very promising. Um, it's quite an unusual size. It's like the size of the box. Um, it's made of good paper, actually. It's it's the kind of hard wearing stuff again, very much, you know, like the box itself. Um, so it gives you the components, um, how to get rich. So obviously we're, we're, this is an economic game from what I have gathered. Some of the symbols to explain them. Oh wow, here's the setup. Well, it's got what I like in a setup, which is a picture of the setup, because how else would you know what you were doing? Um, sorry about the shine on this, it's quite waxy, waxy, waxy paper. Tells you about the town, all those nice things. More of game setup. Okay, there seems to be a lot to this. Um, it looks like a lot bigger game in here than it does from the cover. That may just be my terrible prejudices. So, setting up the play area, setting up your merchant board, so we're going to have our own board. Cool. And then all the different phases of playing with the game. Um, I like how this is coloured um, and patterned that gets kind of like torn paper. And it's got nice numbers to go with that lovely table of contents. So what else can you do? There's a dungeon crawl section. Ooh, I'm collecting loot, everyone's favourite. So game end and scoring is back here. Excellent. And then, oh, brilliant. So it's got a reference for everything that you could meet in your shop. Um, and I love when games do that too, because you, you always want a little bit more information. And the back page is a reference sheet, hurrah. So it just tells you a little bit about the different guilds in the back to remind you. Excellent, so yeah, it looks like a rubber book. It's not too thick either. Um, and it's nice, it's got nice and big font, so it's easy to read. Okay, the punch out boards. Oh, wow. And we knew we got, according to this four, because this says one of four, Whoa, oh, okay, I made it to the bottom. There's a lot of stuff in this box. So, as you can see, so we've got what looks like money, oh, and little tokens, some closed signs, they're pretty cool. I Obviously I've pushed one out, it comes out fairly handily just by touching it. This is nice thick cardboard and it's got a good feel to it. It's very, very cool. Um, obviously we're gonna need lots of money because there's money, there's some player tokens. So that's pretty good. So our, let's see, are all of these roughly the same? I'm gonna put that piece back in. Oh, wow, it actually fits. It's like a jigsaw puzzle. So yeah, more money, more close signs, and then these are all equipment. So braces of apathy, loincloth of limited invulnerability. I quite like that. For those of you who like popping stuff out, obviously there's good fun to be had here. More cool items. The font of Helvetica, that's just awesome. So obviously this game has a sense of humor. Okay, this one's slightly different than the others. So what's in this one? A master merchant token. And some more close signs, like some heroes, some more items, and a very scary looking X sign. Oh, I wonder what it is. Okay, very, very cool. So there's lots of bits. Okay, so now the board. See how neatly it's set into the insert? There's hope here for a nice insert. Oh, look at that. There is. Okay. I also should have told you that this is the Kickstarter version. So it's got like an expansion in it, I believe, and some sort of promo card, which is very exciting. So I do believe this game has just come off of Kickstarter, so it's available 
um, for you to look up and maybe check out. Okay, so here's the board. It's a bit big. It's an interesting size. It's a perfect square. Look at that. So here is welcome. Cool. The board itself. M more durable stuff. Very, very durable. Um, it's got a nice little map in the middle. Well armed enemies. Okay. Um, and it's got different guilds, a black market and some fields. So obviously we're going to be putting plenty of things on the board. I like how it looks actually. It's it's quite, it's not as cheery as I had anticipated, but it's still very, very cool. It does remind me very much of World of Warcraft, even the logo. <laughs> um, but it's, it's good, it's nice. Is there anything on the back of the board? Whoop. I will not hit the camera, I swear. Nope, nothing on the back of the board. All right, next in the layers. Wow, you get a lot in this box. Where do I begin? Okay, I'm gonna go with this. Oh, look at that. They're all already punched out for you and they're in it, in the little space. And I don't know if you guys can see this. I'll try to lift it up. Can you see in the bottom of the insert? I'll try and fix this later. You can kind of see there is a little symbol for buildings. And what did you know? There were buildings in it. Like, look at that. That's super classy. So we'll take off the little bit of tape. Whoop. What do we get? So these are all made of cardboard. Um, very fine cardboard again, the same as the tokens. So there's all kind of cool buildings here. So haberdasheries, and old towns, trapezoid alley. I like these names. I like the humor. The fence. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. Um, wizard's lab, bazaar. So obviously these go out in the board because they look like they they fit on the board. Don't they? they they've got the same colors going on. So a good few of these. A good number of those. Um, now can I fit them back in neatly? It does have the thumb holder. Oh, there we go. Excellent. Okay, so in this section, oh, and it's got more iconography down the bottom. So it has an axe, a helmet, and a I want to go to call it a globe. No, it's like a wizard's orb, right? So obviously this is where your tokens you punch out end up. But in here currently are something very suspicious. So there's like two standees. You can kind of see them. Um, I don't know what these are for, these little black things. Here, I'll take one out. Maybe we'll figure it out as we go along. Because I see more standees up ahead, meaning maybe there are more so. Oh, they're like paper clips. Yeah, these tiny little paper clippy things. Interesting. I could consider me intrigued. Cool. Oh my god, there's gonna be bags. Okay, so next step. So these are more standees, these are smaller ones. Little green ones. I like that they match the board. Like the colours of the game seem to be green and brown. Hmm, questionable, but fair enough. Oh, here's the special card I got because it's a Kickstarter exclusive. Um, very, very cool. Um, so what's it say? The plus five scroll of going first. That's quite classy, isn't it? I always wanted something like that. It reminds me of Munchkin a little bit, doesn't it? So underneath the cool bags, we'll open these up now, there were more bags. So we got, oh, we've got two bags. So a brown and a Green one. I was almost gonna go, what color is this? Okay, so there's actually no, oh wait, there is a hole in this bag. Is it really a bag if it doesn't have a hole in it? More crinkly paper, so let's see what these are like. Oh, these are quite nice now. They're not velvety bags, they're kind of canvas bags. They're very cute. And uh, I wonder what we use them for. Obviously we must put tiles or something in them. They're very, very nice, I like those. Very welcome addition, and I like the fact that the game gives bags. All right, so where do we go next? Top or bottom? We'll leave the expansion for another minute. Ooh, okay, some more, wow. Sorry, every time I delve down, I find something else really exciting. Okay, so we'll start with this one. The sh um, so this must be your character stuff. Yes. Where's the paper? There we go. It's not called paper, it's called plastic and it's bad for the environment. There we go. So yeah, these are, seem to be the characters you can play, the different vendors. Um, these are nice and huge. The paper is like not super thick. It's, it is very waxy. Like everything else in this game, the theme is wax. So these are all the people you can be. We're all goblins. Interesting. And then on the back, it has your final scoring round, which really helps. So obviously, oh, you get to craft things. That's nice. Gold conversion. And then there's a the thing about tiebreakers. I, I like when those are on the back of your sheet to remind you. Yep. And they're all the exact same. So that's awesome. So what's next? Ooh. Some sort of legend. A legend, you say? Now. Okay, so. This looks like the stuff you can do in a turn. So th are there five of these? There's more than five, because this game is for five players. One, two, three, four, 
five, yeah, there's more than that. So I wonder what you need to for. But anyway, so run a shop, visit a guild, craft for customer call for round end. Okay, and it looks like some sort of bidding. No one vetoes the round end. That's cool. And then on the back, as you can see, there's a legend for how to put things together. It's a shop legend, types of customers, other icons. So that's pretty cool. I wonder why there are so many. I'm suspicious. What? It, there isn't ten, is there? No, there's eight. Hmm. Maybe I'll maybe I'll figure this out later. So that's that. Now I want to see what was under this. Look at this. Ooh. Oh, Olaf. Oh, oh. <gasps> Ooh, I opened up. This is so exciting. Um, so Olaf Moonbeam and Knives. Knives. What a great name for a thief. Knives Chow. <laughs> I assume maybe you guys have seen Scott Pilgrim vs. The World. That's nice. So obviously, oh look, and they've got stuff. They've got backpacks, stuff they can carry. Oh, and there's like a little filled in description for Olaf. One L better than a big oaf. That's awesome. What's say about knives? Half the size, twice the stabbing. Okay, so you must be a halfling rogue. Oh, look at this. Um, Moonbeam, your daily dose of magic missile. Okay, so th obviously these are like the, the heroes that we're gonna sell stuff to, I'd say. That's really cool. I like the way that board opens out. That is just awesome. And underneath these, we find we have some cards. I was wondering if this was all gonna work. Yet again, look, we have a sword embossed down here. Whoever um, put this together put a lot of care and effort into all the little details and it's really, really noticeable. Like that's just amazing. And not only that, but there's a nice insert. So let's see what these cards look like. So they're kind of cut off at the side, so I assume they're gonna go with character cards or stuff you can do. Um, oh, and they're two-sided. So what are all these things? Green shark mastery. So it's like abilities I think you're getting or things you're gonna be able to do when you have these cards. Um, yet again, waxy cards, solid stuff. Durable, that's what I like to call them. Durable, that's pretty nice. Ooh, okay, there are boss cards here at the bottom. Ooh, so there's a demon imp and he wants to buy a shiv. So I wonder if these are like, you know, round bonuses that where you try um, and do what they say and then you'll get those points, but only for a certain length of time. Reanimated corpse, I love the art. The art's really growing on me. It's very classy cartoony, that's what I'm calling it. Um, I like how these are, and then so there's gold ones, and then at the end there's a boss. Asmoidus, ooh, he wants to buy a legendary weapon, but under it it said yarn ball. I like that a lot. A lot of humor to be had here. Very, very cool. All right, what's in the next pack? Ooh, so this one has a big embossed logo that looks especially like this one that was on the back of these. It is. So I'll put those there because I probably should. Okay, so this, what are you guys all about? It's lots to explore in here, isn't it? I love when a game gives you value. Okay, so, play on your turn. So these are obviously, we must have cards in our hand. So you can think like Midnight Oil, cool. Free samples, right, bait the switch. Slide your pan. So these, actually these are duplicates as well. There's quite a number of these that are all the same. There's a lot of free samples, <laughs> unsurprisingly. Knuckle bones and sleight of hand. So these are obviously things for heroes to play. Yet again, same quality cards. Oh, they're scams. <laughs> so they have a different logo on the bottom. So the next logo. I guess I'll live with the boss monsters for now. Very cool. All right, so we'll pop all this back in. That's just so cool, that thing. <laughs> is anyone else amazed by this like I am? So I think that's everything in the base game. It's hard to tell because then this is here. Now it's interesting that, oh, that's got the boss logo on it. It's got the little kitten. Um, that this, there's a space for the expansion already in the, um, the insert for the base game. So I wonder will the base game always come with this expansion attached? But it's a box inside a box. Okay, so next step. So this says on it obviously requires um, Heroes Welcome base game, unsurprisingly. Wee, nice little box. Um, kickbacks expansion, all right. Um, same kind of stuff as normal. Oh, it's got a cute thing on the side, but I assume you'd always be keeping it in the box if you could. What's it claiming in the back of it? Um, kickback cards at a whole new level of strategy to the game. Okay, new customer cards at a variety of customer deck. Very cool. And starting shop tells randomize the layout of the starting town. Okay, so those sounds like, you know, little tweaks almost to the original game. I wonder how different, you know, the expansion makes it. Um, right. Oh my gosh. Come on, box. <laughs> oh, there we go. It was quite tight fit in case you hadn't noticed. 
So inside the tiny box, we have our tiny little rule book. So it tells us the components, or how to use this, favors, perks, do you know more kickbacks? Same rule book basically as the bigger one, just in the tiny mode, which is good. So all the different things, there's special rules for this one. And there's a setup for a longer game. Hmm. And then the random town generator, cool. Um, and then much like the big box, we have tiny punch outs. So there's only one sheet of these. So these are obviously new items. Hammer of Haggling, fair enough. Um, and buy three for money. Hmm. And now we're down below. So there are new starting tiles. I'll have a look at those. Oh, and there's some more stuff in the bottom. Okay, so I'll go with the starting tiles first. So these are just like the other town tiles. So we just got some different ones. Made yet again of a, you know, the exact same quality cardboard. You wouldn't notice the difference between this and the base game. Um, so there's one card in this and it's some sort of boss. Over we go. Okay, so we get some cool new bosses. So a skeleton hero, an orc footman and a pit fiend. Yeah, again, all the same card quality. And then we have a tiny packet so these are obviously the kickback tokens. Now, someone mentioned we should have a name for these open things on the card, on cards, card tags. Isn't that right, Carl? Uh, so I don't know what to call them. If people want to write in with real world names for what you call those tags, tabs or whatever for opening pieces of plastic, I'd love to know your answers. Okay, so why do we get this? Gain the bag of swag. So that's an item, discard of claiming rewards. In the harm. Okay, so these are all bonuses. Well, yeah, oh, it says bonus on it, Eddie. Right, so that they go up in numbers. See that six, and then but we're back into one. Eight bonus. Okay, so these all seem like good things. None of this seems nasty. Um, the ca the cards are the same quality as all the others. It's got nice little icons. So obviously, this Hagley expansion gives you like just more good stuff. Looks like it anyway. Cool. All right, so I think that's everything that was in the expansion and possibly in the entire game. This has been a rather long unboxing, I assure you. Um, so yeah, there seems to be a lot to this. You know, for a game that looks kind of fun and easy, breezy, beautiful um, on the front, um, there's quite a lot going on underneath. I'll have to pop do all this popping soon. That'll take a bit of time. <laughs> but it's a nice feeling, isn't it? When you have a new game and you get to do all of the popping. So what did you guys think of Heroes Welcome, Merchants of Dragon Reach? Um, I'm intrigued. Colour me intrigued. Um, I quite, I really like how it's put together and if there's that much, you know, um, attention put into just all these small things, I hope the game itself has just as much care and love put into it. So you've been watching Board Game Inquisition. I hope you enjoyed this unboxing video. If you'd like some more authentic and hopefully mildly entertaining unboxing videos, why not like this video or subscribe to the channel for future updates. And until next time, I'll be here playing games, asking questions, and hopefully we'll do another unboxing video together again soon. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.